Hi, my name is Paul D'Antonio with the Do It Yourself Resource, and today we're going to start our very first episode of a new series that we want to create called the Design Vlogs. This is going to be a little bit more of a personal series that goes through the engineering journey behind our Do It Yourself projects that we produce on this channel. Now we're going to be working in my home, we're going to be having my dog in the video often, we're going to be doing a lot of things very casually here. We're going to be presenting our human process as we go through and build these projects. The project that I have to share with you today and throughout the next couple of weeks is called the do-it-yourself hydraulic system. This is a very basic uh, engineering system which is used to create a mechanical advantage, basically amplify force that you apply. I want to use this in future projects and I believe that it can help other people as well if they're able to create their own hydraulic systems at home to create more powerful mechanisms then it's amazing and I think that I want to start to be able to share this with you so this will be another project that I feature on my website however we're going to go through the design here we're going to talk about what is going on and I'll be sharing with you hopefully daily what goes on with this design so without further ado, let's get started. So before I get into my real demonstration, I want to show you what I've built and I want to show you some of the operating principles behind what I'm talking about. Uh, this will not be the final look at the engineering behind this thing, but will definitely uh, get you a good idea of what, it, what, what we're doing here. So right now I have my hydraulic cylinder and my piston. So this is my piston. It's basically a piece of PVC with foam cores inside of a hot glue piston seal. Um, these are different, definitely some vocabulary that you'll need to learn uh, when you go ahead and, and want to design something like this. Um, but essentially these, these hot glue pieces around here have some level of deformability and so they act like a rubber and you can basically insert these hot glue, these molded hot glue pieces inside of this cylinder and create an airtight seal. So as you push down, since no gas is escaping, you're building up pressure inside of that cylinder. So if I go ahead and insert my piston into my cylinder, you can hear, you can hear the gas moving in and out. So after we've applied pressure to the first part of the system, the large diameter PVC, we can go over to the other side of the system where we receive that pressure. And I have a tube that goes in here that takes the compressed air from inside here and transfers it over here. So without any resistance, you don't build up pressure. But now that we have this bag over here, we can see the pressure build and we can watch the bag expand. So there are losses in this system, which I need to work on that. but. If we right now compress this, this, this large diameter PVC, then we can see that the, the bag expands here and shrinks. So we have control and we're getting airflow from one to the other. There's an awesome hydraulic principle that I'm going to discuss in just a few minutes that basically allows us to gain a huge advantage from that, a huge mechanical advantage so that we can use that and create a higher force from only a small input force. One technique that I've found that helps you get a better seal on the piston is to apply a piece of tape to it. This allows you to get a closer to the diameter of the what you need as well as it allows for some defer, more deformation here. So I go ahead and use electrical tape because electrical tape stretches and it conforms to the sides of the, the, the piston. So here is my tape applied and unfortunately the tape comes with a few different downfalls that make it so that it's not really the optimal thing to use and thus I've been trying to design it so I can get that good seal without having to use tape. But I'm going to need to apply another piece of tape to the bottom and then I'll apply it to the different larger diameter piston. 
Okay, so here is both pistons with their tape applied. I'm pretty sure that they work because they were close before even having their tape applied to them. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll get our supplies ready to start the, the demonstration. This is going to be cool. So I don't know if you'll necessarily believe me, but this table and everything on it is applying, is, is sitting directly on this piston. Now, I want to show you the power of the mechanical advantage here. So this table, there's got to be at least 15, 20 pounds on it. And I want to show you how easy it is to lift this table with this piston only using this, small, this smaller piston. So I'll go ahead and press down on it, and you'll notice the table lifts up. So this is amazing. I don't know if you could tell how little force I was putting on it, but it was probably under two pounds really resisting me uh, there. So it's pretty amazing how well this system works. Uh, if it were closer to airtight, it would be better, as well as if we were using an oil, it would be a smoother lift. So I actually want to push my limits here and get some weights uh, and put it, on, put it on the table. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the piston down. If you didn't believe me that there were 15 pounds on it before, there are now 15 additional pounds directly over the load. Uh, we're going to see if now the piston can lift up on the table. So let's see. We'll apply our force on this smaller piston. And yes, indeed it does. And pretty seamlessly too, it's smooth. It's really not difficult to lift this up. So I think our experiment there was pretty much a success. We lifted at least 30 pounds off the ground with the piston and applied just about nothing to do it. So I'm really excited about the results here. Uh, we'll go on tomorrow to develop a better seal. And also we need to fix some issues with the piston uh, rod because I think that the foam is actually breaking. Um, I think that was my fault in the assembly, but we'll see. Um, I have a lot more to go over tomorrow. Uh, I want to talk a little bit more about the numbers behind this, go into maybe a little bit of the math. Um, next video, I need feedback uh, at some point. Uh, I can probably come up with my own idea, but you guys can help me out here. I want to know how can I get a better seal here. I want you to know that I have a limitation on the diameter that I can use, so it's going to be difficult for me to use something like an O-ring, um, and it's it's overall a very complicated pro problem. So if you can think of how to get a better seal with the hot glue, or maybe come up with a different idea that allow me to a cheap cheap cost effective solution here, let me know. Uh, without being without further ado, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe if you would like more of the design vlogs and stay tuned for this project to be released in the near future. Uh, thank you very much and goodbye. More information is offered on my website, thedoityourselfresource.com. As well, feel free to like our Facebook page and watch us live on twitch.tv. Links are in the description. Thank you very much and goodbye.